So this is lesson five. This is a two day RV adventure in Vermont with me and my family. So I'm super stoked. Everyone here hopefully has watched all nine lessons in these two classes, 101 and 102. This is putting it all together. Hey, you know who I am, you know my philosophy, you know why we love to do this, because we wanna be connected to nature and we wanna raise kids this way, right? For us, it's really about cultivating this family connection. We had talked about that in the past. That is why we do all this stuff, is to bring ourselves closer as a family unit and enjoy nature outside together. What's the best RV for you? Hopefully you guys have chosen yours. This is ours right here. This is the one that's gonna go on this adventure with us. So in preparation, you know, we gotta pack specifically for this trip. We need two dinners, two breakfasts, and a lot of snacks and, and lunch stuff for the in-between times. We kinda know where this place is. We found a really cool spot, I'm really excited about it, but I'll always check that paper map just to make sure that I don't get set off course by Google Maps. Because we're going to be e-biking, because we're going to be spending a lot of time in water, it's going to be e-bikes, all the gear that surrounds that, our paddle boards, our preservers for the kids, and all of our water gear. So you can actually watch us doing this in episode two of the Rome production in the Boundless series. We're super excited and thank you guys so much for joining us in all these lessons here. You know, hopefully we've inspired somebody to get out there and do this on their own because like I said, the rewards are endless. We're really excited. We're gonna hit the road and we're actually gonna go and film all this. Boundless season two presented by Rome and Go RVing. See you on down the road. I remember halfway across Florida, my son was like, I'm done. I don't wanna do this anymore. I wanna go home. We're like coming across the heartland in the middle of Florida and I said, just give me another day. Where we're going, you're gonna be stoked. I promise you, man. Okay, I'll give it one more day and then we're going home, okay? We're going home after this? Yes. Boom, pull into a white sand beach, done. Two weeks later, I don't wanna leave. I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna leave, I don't wanna leave. I love this place crying when he left. This hunt for those things never stops because there's always something else out there. There's always something around the next bend. There's always something around the next corner that surprises and delights. Summer in Vermont is epic. It's like you can't beat it. There's so much moisture here that it just like, it just sits in the valley floors. So we're the Pickett family and we're kind of planning this summer adventure and the kids are whipped up. And we bought this old crazy RV and it just changed everything. It just gives you this home away from home feel that you don't get in a tent. Short strikes from home, that's how we started. 20 minutes, half an hour, an hour from our house. All the time, every weekend. We just have graduated, We've gone a little bit further. So far, I think we're up to close to 26,000 miles. We've discovered places across America that I never would have seen, ever. Never even knew they were there. And you roll up on something and you're just blown away. You're like, what? This is here? You gotta be kidding me. Connection to each other, connection to land. It's what makes life better. The universe kind of catches you in its palm every once in a while, where you like miss a turn and then you're like, where am I? And then all of a sudden you end up at this rad place. My son is Ash. He's a little wild. He's hilarious, but at the same time, he's a total sweetheart. My daughter's story is a pistol. She's such a lover. She's definitely a girly girl, but you don't want to mess with her because you get the horns, man. <laughs> my wife, Nellie, is a rock. She's my foundation. You can't shake her. I don't think that I would have thought that something as simple as owning an RV would have been as beneficial as it was for our family. We got zero ones. Two, three. Go, 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 go. go, go, go. go, go.
Once you're actually on the road, the, everyone kind of retreats into this unit. Any type of spats or anything that happens, you kind of got to get them out because it's not like, I'm going to my room and you just go storm, there's no room. Like you can go out and hide behind a tree. It gets everything out in the open and it forces you to face those things that typically maybe you wouldn't be facing if you're in a house. Facing them head on brings you way tighter as a family. It tests your relationship with your spouse. There's no doubt about that. But I think what you end up realizing is that if you have a good relationship, all of those tests just make you closer and stronger. I think you look at this and you look at the, the life and the towing and connections and all these things and people get pretty freaked out about that. But it's, once you figure it out, it's really not that hard at all. And anyone can do it. And I think what's on the other side of that is pretty magical. We'd been out in the RV for a while and my son turned to me at one point and said, Dad, when I talk about home, I'm talking about the RV. All those stories, all those places, all those memories you're imprinting on these little kids that are so impressionable, that's going to follow them around. It's going to make them into something incredible. To watch their faces light up kind of makes it all worthwhile. I always say that the only things you can take with you in life are experiences. There's no inanimate object that you can connect with, but experiences you can relay again and again and again. It's kind of like how folklore is passed down from generation to generation. I've learned a lot. How to be a better dad, how to be a better husband, how to be a better driver, probably. The family unit is the most important thing. And so to have something that brings that tighter, why wouldn't you do it? Look at this thing and it looks daunting, it's not. The benefits on the back end, you couldn't pay enough money for those. The rewards are endless. <laughs>